What's going on everybody, Justin here, The Winds of Change is the channel name, thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to do another weekly item breakdown. We're going to answer the question, what are some kind of items that I can be looking for when I'm out there sourcing to resell on Amazon FBA? What are some of the realistic profits I'm looking at? What are some of the things that you're selling, Winds of Change, Mr. YouTube, that are making you profit? We're going to answer those uh, today uh, with one specific item. Uh, I've been putting these out weekly. We're doing a deep dive into an individual item. So this is not a video where you're going to get easy answers as to what should I buy? Where should I go? But it is going to be a dive into one particular item from one place uh, that has sold. So it's a realistic thing of what you can look for. Um, it's an actual sale. So it's, you know, maybe to give you some confidence of, hey, these things actually sell. This uh, Amazon FBA retail arbitrage online business model actually works. So that's what we're going to look at. Thanks everybody who subscribed. If you like reselling content specifically through Amazon FBA, go ahead and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Join the conversation. We really appreciate it. Let's get right into it here. Uh, this is an item uh, that I picked up at Marshalls for $3. Uh, Milani Brow Fix Kit Light. We'll look at what that is in a second. Had really, really good return on investment. Really good profit. Uh, so let's look at that. The item price, we sold this for $16.79. Uh, shipping credit was $1.33. So the total that I got was $18.12. All right, now down here we get into the expenses. Here's my buy cost, three bucks. Fulfillment fee, $2.52. Uh, let's see the Amazon refer. I'm sorry. The Amazon referral fee was 252 and the fulfillment fee for FBA was 372. And then the shipping promotion came back off for $1.33, leaving us with $10 and uh, 57 cents. So the income 1812, the expenses $10 and 50 cents total $7 and 55 cent profit and then down here this is just where they collected the tax and remitted it to the state which is nice that amazon does that referral fee 252 fulfillment fee 372 just more of the same information over here total buy cost profit uh, almost 45 percent roi 250 percent that's amazing i typically go for 40 percent roi what that looks like is a percentage of how much you invested so if you spend ten dollars and then you make $4 profit, that's a 40% ROI. That's what I aim for. I go higher and lower depending. In this case, it was well above that. It was 250%. So we almost uh, almost tripled the money there. So that was pretty good. And what else on this page do we need to know? Only that uh, when people hear, hey, I bought this for $3 and sold it for $18, that doesn't make, mean you made $15. You have to pay Amazon uh, fees, and they can be pretty steep depending on the size of the item in the category. So let's go ahead and pull up over here the Amazon page of what this was. This is what it was, and it just came in a little package like uh, this. It does not show you, but anyway, it just came in like a little cardboard-like pack um didn't weigh anything it was a it's a small item i was actually surprised that it sold for <laughs> what it did so i don't know if this is like an item that is not made anymore or it's or it's hard to find or what uh there's all kinds of reasons why this price could be what it is so that is not left up to me uh, i just scanned it and found out that it sold for a higher price and that's what i did so let's look at why this is a good buy besides the profit one, it's 54,000 rank in beauty and personal care. Anything under 100,000 is going to sell super, super quick in beauty and personal care. Um, I've been selling in that category for the better part of a decade. Uh, no lie, my first FBA shipment was in 2012, so it's going over 10 years. And on my experience, this has changed some over the years, but in my experience, anything under 100K is a safe bet. Uh, it's got four FBA offers. None of them are Amazon. Um, and then the profit, honestly, is is really good. It's selling for more now. Um, it's selling, uh, actually, I don't know why this is saying this. It's $16.99 plus free delivery. So we'll change that. 
but there's the profit. So you've got a low seller rank, Amazon's not on it, and high profit. That's the, the, the three things that you're looking for, right? The profit is Amazon on it. How fast does it sell? Um, and if you're approved or not. I think I had to actually ask for approval on this. And I think I got auto approved to sell it. So uh, this is if it was FBM, the buy cost. So you know, a little bit of difference there. And let's go down here. Actually, with the buy cost, I think I might have this. Let's see. I may have this uh, set for uh, shipping, right? So let's see. FBM. Um, other. So I want to get rid of that because I don't know what that is. Shipping revenue, $4.99. Buy cost. Shipping cost. Hmm. Wonder why it's running it saying that it's lower there. This is the standard merchant fulfilled shipping revenue that we use. This is for any expense that you want to be subtracted if you pay someone to fulfill your orders. Okay, so this is something that I can actually get rid of. Um, and we're going to put in about $4 because it's going to be about uh, $4 to uh, ship that. So we'll switch that up. And then there you go. That gives you the different, um, the different uh, costs there. So would have been about the same if I would have sent it in FBA or if I would have shipped it out um, myself with the shipping cost. All right, sometimes little items like that, it is, uh, it's worth it to ship them uh, from like your home or your warehouse, especially if they're real fast sellers. But in this case, I did FBM. Let's look at the Keeper graph. Uh, you can see it goes... 1699 third party buy box. So Amazon's not on here. If Amazon was on here, there'd be some um, orange in the background here, <clears throat> but uh, they're not. So you can see the buy box has been 1989 for a while um, back here in July and August with a really good sales rank. All these uh, green lines that down dip, this is the sales rank. So every time there's a down dip, it means at least one of them sold. You can see the price gets a little wonky here. So it goes from like $16.99 and then uh, uh, $12.95 on third party, $16.99 FBA. So you can see even that the, the buy box on this uh, is higher than the lowest price sometimes, which is good. Benefit of selling through uh, FBA, by the way. So if you sell through FBA, you are more likely to get a better price out of it than if you're shipping from um, your home or your warehouse. And yeah, so it's a fast seller. And it makes really good profit, and that's why uh, that's why we picked it up, right? So, yeah, anyway, leave me a comment down below. Would you have picked up this item? I think the answer should be obvious. Yes, you should have picked up this item, right? Let me know if you've come across anything like this. Let me know if you even if you even sell in makeup, right? Some people stick away from it altogether. Um, there's a high level of IP claims, but I mean, there's a high level of IP claims for for everything. You can literally say that every brand has a risk of IP claims. Unless you are buying directly from the manufacturer, then you're at risk of an intellectual property claim. That's just the way it is. That's the way that it goes. That's the nature of retail arbitrage. Do the best you can to get documentation, receipts, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're buying from stores, make sure that you save them. Um, be honest, right? Don't buy something used and sell it for new. Make sure you're inspecting the items that you're buying. Make sure that they're not damaged. Give the customer excellent service and do the best you can and sort of hope for the best with IP claims, right? Um, I think in 10 years, I've maybe had like five or six and, and then they all drop off after a while. So um, everybody's going to get them. The more you sell, the more you are at risk. That's just the way that it goes. So anyway, thanks for checking this out. I hope this uh, was helpful. Hope you learned something. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and uh, hey, until next time, I'll catch you all later.